Hey guys, we're watching Volgar's reviews, beer reviews, and uh, I'm at, I think, Waldport. Yeah. There it is, the coast. Woo! Sitting on the balcony, and I hope nothing happens to my camera, but it's. Whatever. It's good. Okay, so I have no internet on my phone. Um, I guess there's supposed to be internet here, but I have to run back in and screw it. It's not like a beer advocate knows what they're talking about with beers. I can, it's shock top, simple enough. Pumpkin wheat, I've been dying to try this. And it's a twist off, I didn't need a bottle opener. Hmm. Small, a little bit of pumpkin or something. Pour down side of glass until half inch is left, then bottle swirl and pour remaining brew to properly blend spices and release the aroma of flavor. Enjoy. Cool. Instructions. I like it. 5.1% ABV. Oh wow, it's got sediment stuff on the bottom. Interesting. Okay. This is the glass I'm going to use. So I didn't bring mine. This bread a vacation house. So down the side. And then swirl. Very carbonated. A lot of stuff gunked in there. What was this brew? Um, it doesn't. S I don't think it says. It should say, oh, 418.4? No, that's not it. I don't know. Belgian style wheat ale brewed with ripe pumpkin, citrus peel, nutmeg, cinnamon, and cloves. Ooh, cloves. Cinnamon. I was gonna let my dad have some of this, but he probably won't like it. But we'll see. All right. There it is, very orange-esque. Looks like a glass of orange juice. Well, not really orange juice, but like a more golden mango orange juice. Just like that Fireboat Hefeweizen I just had. Smell, I can smell the wheat. And I guess, well, I don't really smell it. The pumpkin doesn't smell too strong. Anyways, let's get down to the, to the taste. Oh wow, it's pretty interesting. Taste of the spices a lot. Actually, in my opinion, I taste a lot more of the spices than the pumpkin. But you know what? Well, actually, in the back in the background taste, in the aftertaste, I get the pumpkin. I think. But uh, you know. Shock Top usually isn't really that expensive. Like it's probably it's usually about seven dollars a six pack. So buck and a quarter. And if you're only getting one, you're not breaking the bank. And that's a pretty cool uh, label, in my opinion. Very cool label. Um, but is it really that good? It didn't seem like there's a whole lot of lacing, which is something I don't really see that much in beers except for like, I don't know, uh, maybe malt liquors. It's definitely really smooth. There's a bit of the hot note, but it's not very off-putting. It's not too strong. It's it's all right, um, but no, it's not as good as the end of the world uh, wheat or whatever it was. End of the world shock top. That was that was a lot better. 
Um, the raspberry, I don't really remember that one very much. The chocolate, I like that, but it tasted like chocolate cereal. I kind of like that, but a lot of people probably wouldn't. This one's just okay, in my opinion. I mean, it's not bad. If you're a Shock Top fan, like as I am, um, you'll probably like it. If you're not a Shock Top fan, you'll probably just think this is an utter waste of money and how can anybody uh, invest, not in, yeah, how can anybody devote money to uh, Anheuser for uh, what, uh, a, just a, a Budweiser with a different sticker, I guess, but no, this is way better Budweiser. I guess a 6.8. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't really want to give it a negative st score very much, but yeah, six, seven, six, five. I mean, if I this, this definitely isn't something that like I could have. I could have more than one, two, three of these. And I'd be. I you know I wouldn't be sick of it. I wouldn't be like. Uh, it wouldn't be too sweet. It's really not too sweet. It's really just right. It's it's just like a. Uh, Hefeweizen beer, or Hefe, Hefe, whatever, with just spices and I guess a little bit of pumpkin, but the pumpkin is just a little in the background. It's just, it's not as uh, engulfing as I really had hoped. I, I thought when I saw the pumpkin wheat, I thought it was gonna be like pumpkin, you know, just you, you drink it and it's like biting, in, biting into a fresh, not a fresh pumpkin, but you know, like a cooked pumpkin or pumpkin pie, you know, that you know, pumpkin flavor, but I'm not really getting much pumpkin flavor. I'm getting mostly the wheat and the spices. So, if this was expensive, I would really be pissed off, like with the Mango Wizen. But, because that was like $4, it said Mango Wizen, but it had almost no mango in it. Just like this, this has almost no pumpkin. I don't know. It's, it's kind of like an aftertaste, it's just in the tip of your tongue, it's just a little bit of pumpkin, and that's what it is. It's that, that's the best I get of pumpkin. But other than that, I don't know, it's just kind of meh. The best thing about it has got to be that label. That's a really cool label. And uh, I would imagine these would, sell, these would sell well around Halloween. I don't know if it's... It says seasonal. I don't see a date. Which is weird because I see, I looked at it shocked out before, and it had the date on that one. But anyways, yeah, I'm, now I'm kind of rambling. So should you buy this? Um, sure, why not? If you can, if you can just get one, go for it. They're, they're inexpensive. But if you have to buy a six pack, nah, just just walk on by. Uh, unless you're a diehard, if you if you're really a shock top fan and you you like pretty much anything they put out, then go for it. And you know. You don't mind spending $7 for an Anheuser product for six pack, $7, $8. It's sort of not that bad. It's just kind of, it's just a little edge above average, you know? But uh, I'm, not, I'm not too disappointed because I only got one and it doesn't taste bad and I didn't spend a lot on it unlike that Mango Wizen. So, yeah, that was the little Gore's videos and uh, it sure is nice and peaceful and relaxing out here. Yeah. I don't know why, I didn't look at the news, or I mean the weather at all when I left, and then I fell asleep in the car, and when I woke up, got to the store, and uh, I opened the door to get out, and I'm like, whoa, it's, it's as cool as it was outside the car, as it was inside the car, the AC up full blast, so, yeah, it was like 63. It's a little cloudy, but, eh, it's not raining, so I'm happy for that. Anyways, enough rambling, that's me, see you next time.